Even more city council members are jumping on board to take the Chicago Transit Authority in a new direction. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley is here with more on what to expect as the debate takes shape. Tamon? Ray and Micah, at first just a handful of alders called for President Carter's dismissal. Now it's a majority and tomorrow at city council they plan to offer a resolution demanding his ousting. Tonight there's new heat on Dorvel Carter. The president of the CTA is up against a majority of city council members who want him gone. Alderman Andre Vasquez is leading the charge to fire Carter, pinning a symbolic vote of no confidence resolution. Alderman Scott Wagesback is among the co-sponsors. He says CTA riders across the city will be organizing against Carter. Well, I know the Black Caucus is pretty strongly behind him, but I think what you're going to see is that riders in all these other parts of the city are going to step up their game even more and put pressure on all the aldermen to say, look, whether you uh, ride the train or not, whether you take the bus or not, taxpayers are paying for this. CTA critics point out that Chicago trails Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, and Boston in post-pandemic ridership recovery. They also cite cuts to service, 22% on rail, 7% on buses, with more problems on the horizon. CTA, Metro, and Pace must navigate a budget shortfall of more than $700 million by 2026. So far, Mayor Johnson is sticking with Carter, but Governor Pritzker has called for an evolution of leadership at CTA. I think the governor could put pressure on him by looking at things and saying, you know, you have a pretty serious funding gap coming up. If this is not the right person to be managing that funding gap and how we close it, you need to make a move now. Carter has supporters. I think the work that he's done as far as bringing resources, the extension of the red line, the work on the blue line, the work on the purple line, a lot of that stuff had been on the books for years but hadn't happened until he got there and got it going. Alderman Jason Irvin says there's no doubt public transit in Chicago has challenges, but rather than boot the man at the top of the agency, he wants city and state leaders to do more to support CTA. That we have to look at what are the operational challenges and what we can do to help with those challenges and not necessarily just lay all of these problems at the feet of one individual. In the end, it's up to Mayor Johnson. He appoints more members of the Chicago Transit Board than the governor. Today, Mayor Johnson's office declined to offer any new comment.